Okay, so I will try my best to shoot this in one video, so let's get going. So, how's it going guys? This is Ryo Mura Tough Talk from Based in Tokyo. So, Camera Ueda, it, I actually never heard about them until a Japanese sort of like camera blogger was mentioning them on a sort of like an article. And Camera Ueda is actually located in Kamata, and this was actually not under my radar because you guys probably know that I live towards the Shinjuku area, and here's sort of like a map to give you guys a gist. Uh, Kamata is actually towards the Shinagawa area, which is like the opposite side of, it's like more towards downtown Tokyo, and from there you basically have to hop onto the Keihin Tohoku train, which is the blue colored train, which basically goes down towards Kanagawa Prefecture, the state below Tokyo and the last stop is like Kawasaki station but before that station there's a station called Kamata station which is roughly 15 to 20 minute from Shinagawa station and right there lies a uh, camera Ueda uh, sort of like a camera store located within this sort of like area it's sort of like a like a local type of a camera shop which I never mentioned on my channel typically the camera shop that I mentioned are more not towards the locals about more towards the masses actually so they're pretty large such as champ, like champ camera and the chiugaoka shop this one in particular is a sort of like a local oriented shop so it's basically serving the customers who live around this area and i never knew about this shop but i found out after doing extensive research that they opened their doors 75 years back back in 1947 so that's like one or two years after japan lost world war ii that was actually the period where japan was sort of like rebuilding restructuring their economy and one of those industries was the camera business which we were trying to copy from the germany and you guys probably know more than me but they were doing a great great job actually trying to imitate that's where nikon and canon started to like show up and then make better cameras slr type of cameras i'm uh, going a little bit off topic but going back on to topic that's roughly in showa terms showa year 22 and although the kamata station station or this area has sort of evolved into a modern city there's a lot of arcade districts in japan we call it arcades sort of like arcades are so, sort of like a long district long area or path or road where there's lots of sort of like shops like flower shops clothing shops uh drug stores you name it all which and food and stuff like that which they have like a couple they have like three or four actually around this area so it's like a pretty large city in my eyes and i never knew about it so i thought it would be nice to like mention so along if you're ever visiting this area you can basically check the city while during your free time and how should I say, the camera with a shop in particular, they have an extensive amount of cameras in my opinion. They have various types of film stocks, they do have point and shoots, they do have 35mm camera, you name it all. They have batteries, accessories, and also they do have those what I call reusable, non-disposable cameras such as the Reto 35mm. They also have Nikon cameras and Canon cameras and Pentax cameras, but unfortunately unfortunate to say they don't have that many medium format cameras i only saw one or two if i'm right so if you're into those uh this isn't the ideal location but if you're looking for a, like a 35 mil small slr or maybe a, like a point and shoot this might be the one stop location and how should i mention a for dtp kind of like prints and stuff like that they actually only do 35 mil formats and I have to say that they don't do 120 mil medium format because they don't have the facilities the shop is really small so they don't have the mechanical like sort of like stuff to do it but they do only 35 so if you shoot with 35 no problem but if you shoot with medium format you need to actually look somewhere else maybe champ camera or the jugalka's like uh popeye camera might be the better option available or Yodobash, not Yodobash camera they don't do it within a day so those two might be the better bet and keep note that the price of film is actually increasing significantly and there are film stocks on the shelf but if there are like film stocks that 
you want to purchase such as Porcha, which is like really expensive, and Cinestone, those kinds of like foam stocks, the owner actually, if you ask him politely, will actually have those foam stocks behind the counter. And I guess it's similar principles as in people living in North America. I heard I hear at Walgreens or some kind of drugstore that when you try to buy toothpaste, it's in a sort of like a acrylic container and you have to ask the clerk to open it up for you if I'm right similar concept is starting to spring out around film shops so if you ask the clerk basically a shelf behind his back so he can basically grab that you know film stocks for you and also the film cameras are, is also in the window you basically have to ask the clerk if you're interested in a particular sort of like camera and you can basically check to see if it works before doing the final purchase so yeah, uh, hopefully I covered everything. But one thing to note, uh, the side says camera Uida uh, Canon, and this might give a lot of heart attack for a lot of people. But don't worry, because on the outer side of the showcase show window, he has Nikon cameras lined up on the shelf. So I don't know what he's trying to do, but... I sense some kind of betrayal going on so so if you're into Nikon types of cameras or Canon types of cameras or Pentax types of cameras uh, this might be the area to actually look for so I, I kind of forgot what I was about to say so I wasn't able to like finish it within one cut but I'm getting better at it so during this time they were doing a Matsuri aka festival going on around this like district and I was not able to like take a video of from the front side of the shop so i actually revisited on a different day during the holiday season <laughs> and realized that the shop was actually closed but to give you guys a sense of what what like looks the shop looks like from the front and also from the side so to give you guys sort of like an idea of it and yeah hopefully i covered everything there's actually something i forgot to mention which i should have mentioned in the first part of the video but for people who are sticking by and watching my video, they actually have a gachapon within their shop. And if you guys know about gachapon, gachapons are basically if you stick in money and turn the handle, you'll get some prize that you cannot predict what it is until you like turn that you know handle. And in this case, because it's 1,500 yen, which is ro approximately roughly $12, uh, you need to actually give this 1,500 yen to the sales person and he'll give you a dedicated coin to turn the gachapon machine and once you stick that in and turn the handle you can get a film stock a 35 mil film stock randomly and if i'm right i'm, I'm not a 35 mil avid 35 mil shooter but i think this is ultra max 400 comment if, it, if i'm wrong because i'm not used to seeing kodak 35 mil film stocks but the prizes that you can get is like lomography 400 uh, Fuji Color 100, Kodak Gold, uh, if I'm right, L Ford XP Plus, uh, Extra 400, Superior Extra 400, Color Plus, Superior 400, Ultra Max, or Lomography 100. So, and I was looking at the price, uh, Ultra Max 400 costs like 1,800 yen, so I got like 400 yen discount, so a $2 discount by turning the cash pump machine. So if you're ever in the shop, it is actually a must go to do it to see what the fortune teller will tell you to. And if you have any questions or any, if you have any inquiries, I'm happy to reply. As always, please leave in the comments section below. And yeah. I'm glad I knew about this film shop now because if I'm ever in this area, this might be the one stop location because they were actually selling the Superior Extra 400 and they were actually selling the, selling the Cinestel 400D, which I. It's been a while since I've seen that film stock in the stores, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, I'm happy to reply. So yeah, we will see you next time. Peace out.